Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today we'll be testing out the new Fenty Stunner Lip Paint. As you beautiful people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tip you may have with them, please gas it away, because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Fuck, I'm tired. I am just so grateful for concealer today. Holy hell. And a little bit of my next collection's highlighter. Ooh, glowgasm, bitch. Anyways, I am very excited about today's video, because I feel like it's been a long-ass time since we've done just a lipstick review. I did a lip scrub, I've got some moisturizer on my lips, I am very ready to have some Riri in and around my mouth. And I do want to mention that even though I said this is about the products, not the people behind it, I fucking love the shit out of Rihanna. And I only say that because I don't think I have ever disliked as many products from a company as I have with Fenty. Like for me, for some reason, they just don't work on me, which is so weird because I hear amazing things about Fenty Beauty. I get so excited because the packaging is fucking amazeballs, but then when I put the product on my face, I'm just so underwhelmed. It's like finally getting to hook up with that college guy who has big dick energy only to find out that he has a micro penis. Not that there's anything wrong with micro penises, but it's not what we signed up for, and when it comes to Fenty, it too is not what I expected. Except when it comes to her liquid lipsticks. Oh my fucking god, that shit is amazing. Her original uncensored lipstick is still to this day probably one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. Like, the moment we tried it on this channel, I was instantly hooked. Like, this is one of my go-to lipsticks. I just cannot get enough of it. But I can totally look over the fact that really nothing else in her line worked for me, because these, I would do all the shameful and dirty things in the world to get my hands on. But as I was saying, I do like Rihanna. A lot of people come on here and comment and say, because you don't like Rihanna, you probably hate her products, but I fucking love Rihanna. It has nothing to do with her. I applaud the shit out of their foundation range. Unfortunately, it didn't look good on me. I love their packaging. I love the style that they're going for. Unfortunately, a majority of the products just don't look good on me. But like always, I'm going into this review with a completely open mind. I always hope products work. And I am kind of really damn hopeful for these because I am so in love with her original one. And I do know that she did recently launch quite a few shades, but when I ordered these, the only two new shades were unveiled and uncuffed. So if you want me to test out the other, I think maybe three of them, let me know down in the comments below and I'll go snatch them up. Actually, I'm on the Sephora website right now and it looks like there's only two that I don't have. There's like a black one and then a nude one. But still, let me know if you want me to test those and I will go grab them. Anywho, on the Sephora website, these are $24 a piece. There's five shades in total and they have almost five out of five stars. That is very fucking good. I am so excited for these. Oh my goodness, and their campaign photos are beautiful. Like, look at that. Is that not a gorgeous picture? You go, Rihanna. I am rooting for you. We are all rooting for you. Hashtag dramatic Tyra Banks moment. The Sephora website says this is a weightless 12-hour liquid lipstick with a soft matte finish born in a range of head-turning shades that look incredible on all skin tones. They are 100% cruelty-free and like most liquid lipsticks, these do contain dimethicone, so if you have a silicone allergy, stay the fuck away from these. Looking at the reviews, the one-star reviews pretty much all say this shit is not long-lasting at all. This person's lipstick also transferred onto somebody's shirt. Why? I mean, maybe if you're hugging somebody, but I don't typically bury my face into somebody's neck when I go in for a hug. This person also says it's a super liquidy formula that's really difficult to apply when people are bumping into you. What the fuck is this person doing? This other person says they watched a YouTube video that stated this was good for all skin tones, and they completely disagree. This person is cool toned on the semi-pale side, and the colors just don't look good on them. Which, honestly, I could definitely see, especially with this brown, because it might look a little bit ashy on them. The lipstick is very drying, it's smudged all over the place, so I'm pretty sure it's safe to say this shit is probably not blowjob proof. Oh shit, this person had a really bad allergic reaction. But fortunately, there's a shit ton more positive reviews. This five-star reviewer say they bought every color. It feels amazing on their lips. It feels like butter. It doesn't dry their lips out and the color is so pigmented. So pigmented. The feel of the lipstick is amazing. It's very rich. They even like to combine colors. This person says they finally found a lip stain that works. This is not a lip stain. But you do you, honey. This is not disappointing. It stays in place. It looks fabulous. Well shit, maybe they are blowjob proof. If any of you do know, please tell me in the comments below because we know this bitch sure shit ain't getting any action lately. But even with the somewhat mixed reviews, I am still very excited to swatch and do a look with these bitches. You guys know the song. Are you ready? It's swatch and ta ha ha ha. Okay, so I never know if these are gonna stain my lips or how hard they are to get off, so I'm gonna do it before I apply any makeup, and then we are gonna go and do a full look. And of course, we'll do a wear time test, but let's first start off with Unveil. Oh my god, this is such a beautiful color. I fucking love the shit out of brown shades. Ooh, yes, very nice. It looks exactly like the other Fenty one. Oh, and it has absolutely no smell. Thank you. I feel like companies are just putting way too much fragrance and shit lately, and I just don't like it. Anyways, let me take the lip balm off my lips. All right, much better, and here we go. Uh... Uh, oh, oh, uh. this is very, very nice. 
Yes, honey, and it is a very, very liquidy formula, but it also dries down so quickly that you barely even notice. Like it's been, what, 10 seconds and it's already dried down? Oh my God. And this was like totally full coverage. Like I dipped in one time, I did one swipe and this is how it looks. And I was able to rub my lips together and really distribute it around without it turning patchy on me. Although I will say now that it's starting to dry down, it might need a second coat. I'm not sure if you can even see that, but like right there, it's just a little bit thin, but it's also so damn light feeling on the lips that I could probably add 10 coats of this and it wouldn't even feel like anything. So let's go ahead and apply one more layer of this. Mmm, that shit is sexy. Ooh, what's also sexy is the fact that it's in my teeth. That is hot. Okay, so I think that me rubbing my lips together may have actually made it a little bit patchy because that second time when I didn't rub my lips together, it was so fucking pigmented. But even with the two layers, I don't feel anything on my lips. And I do have very sensitive, notoriously dry, very burny lips. So if it were uncomfortable, honey, I would be the first to tell you. But this, it's just like magic. Like it doesn't feel like there's any anything on my lips. The only issue that I have with this, and it's more of a personal preference, is it almost looks kind of green on me. I don't know if it's registering like that on camera, but in person, after I applied that second layer, it kind of went from brown to like a deep, deep hunter green. And I'm not about that life at all. So just before I take this off, I kind of want to put like a nude in the center and kind of ombre it out and see if maybe that helps with the coloring. And I don't normally mix cream and liquid lipsticks, but this is CoverGirl's 225 Dolce de Leche. And I'm just going to tap that right in the center here and kind of work it around. Oh, maybe not. That's actually kind of of making it look like it wore off in the center. Oh, well, you know why it looks like it's not in the center anymore? Because it's not. The lipstick totally removed it. So whoops, sorry about that. But I think I do like the color a little bit better when there's something lighter in the middle. Not necessarily this, maybe more like a caramel color. Okay, I reapplied some of the lip paint and I think just in the middle, I'm gonna try this Kat Von D bow and arrow and then we'll move the fuck on. I'm just really trying to make this color work for me. Ooh. Yes, bitch. I really like the way that looks so much better than on its own. I mean, clearly it was very sloppily done, but we can look past that right now. But on its own, at least when it dries down, I don't necessarily like this color. I don't know. I'll keep playing with this. Actually, you know what? When I just passed my hallway mirror, I looked at myself and I did not like the way it looked, so I totally retract everything that I just said. I don't think I like these two together, but let's move on to Uncensored, which is a very pretty kind of dusty, mauve nude. Nice, very safe kind of color. Uh, oh shit. For me, this is totally one of those your look but better kind of lipsticks where it doesn't really look like I'm applying anything. Ugh, darn. It's definitely a pretty color, but I honestly can't tell you if it's patchy or not because it looks just like my lips. Like I thought it was gonna be darker. It is pretty though. Like it made the tone of my lips very even. And I feel like this on deeper skin tone people would look fucking amazing. But just like the brown shade, this feels so good on the lips. Like I am in love with this formula. So far, I think the only real issue that I have with these lipsticks is the color, which is totally personal preference. Although when I look at my monitor, now it's starting to kind of dry down and I think it's getting darker. Or am I just batshit crazy? I can't tell because when I look in this, I really like it. I feel like it totally got darker. Let me put on a little bit more. Oh shit, yes, that definitely goes on like one or two shades lighter. And so it starts off as like a dusty, almost ashy kind of rose color. Ends up as this, which I don't even know what we'd call this, but it kind of loses that gray ashy tone it has. Okay, I actually like this. Like now that it's dried down and not the exact same shade as my lips. So I am gonna go remove this so that we have a perfectly blank canvas to start with and we can hop right into the look. All right, for foundation, I'm going in with my usual Derma Blend in the shade 25N. I know I use this a shit ton on this channel, but oh my God, I love this stuff so damn much. Then for concealer, I'm gonna go in with some model's own Cover It Full Coverage Concealer in the shade 01. Oh my God, I look like a fucking ghost. A thirsty ghost. And for the eye look, we're probably gonna keep it on the somewhat simple side today. And so I am gonna go in with this Crown Pro 10 Color Temptation Palette, which I am very fortunate enough to actually have an affiliate code with. Like I never do affiliate codes because they're so me. But I fucking love Crown Brush and I believe you save 20% if you use code official Nady. So I am not mad about that, honey. With the fluffy brush, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. And let's blend that shit out all over the crease line. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I like this palette. It's like a Morphe 35-0 mini. Then with that same brush, I'm gonna dip into this red right here. And I'm gonna take that and blend it right along the outer crease line. And what the hell, let's take a little bit of orange and put that in the crease line too. Why not? Right about there. Yes, bitch. And I'm gonna tap on a little bit more of that red right here on the outer corner. Just just to bring some of that color back. Let's see, for a shimmer, let's take this bronzy kind of orange shade. I'm gonna smear that all over the inner part of the eyeball. Let's add some of this deeper bronzy shade right to the center and kind of work it into that orange that we just laid down. Then with a small pencil brush, I'm gonna lightly dip into this brown here and kind of mix it with the black, go back and forth, and gently tap it just right here on the outer corner. The lower lash I always like to keep super simple, so I'm gonna start by smoking out some of this red. And right in between the lashes, I'm gonna go in with a matte black 
purple pencil. I feel like this look is very Halloween-y. All right, eye look is done. Time for a little lipstick. And I think the lipstick that would probably match this look the best is honestly the brown one. But I'm so scared about that. And I think this time, rather than rubbing my lips together, I'm just gonna apply it and let it dry. And maybe it won't turn that greenish shade. Okay, well it doesn't seem to be as patchy this time, so that's good, but I still think the color is a little bit off for me. Uh, maybe? Uh. You know what? It's actually still a little bit patchy, so I'm just gonna go in and add a second layer. Oh, let's just wear the brown one. Honestly, the formula is great so far. It's just the color that's bumming me out, which really surprises me because typically I fucking love brown lipsticks. But here we have it. It's probably not as bad as I think it is, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a wear time test. I've gotta go eat dinner, so we are really gonna put this shit to the test. I will see you in just a second. And we are back. We are around the four hour mark, and I gotta say, this isn't looking too pretty. It did not wanna sit prettily through my dinner, which was rice and vegetables. I mean, it's not like it was greasy shit that I was putting on my lips yet. It kind of came off. And now even when I just touch my lips, like it comes off on my finger. So I don't know how life proof I would say this lipstick is, but I mean, it's still really fucking comfortable. Like it doesn't feel like there's anything on my lips. But you can just see that she ain't so fresh looking. But I mean, considering the fact that I did just eat, I do think it looks okay. Like I'm surprised there's actually anything still there. And I did check out this lipstick in my bathroom mirror and it looks so much better under different lighting. So I think this must just look weird in my monitor because it actually looks okay. So now that some of it is off before I give my final verdict, I do want to go in and kind of touch it up. Oh yes, that layers very, very nicely. Like it's not clumping up or getting all pilly. You know, I gotta say, even though it didn't last super long, I still really like this stuff. Like I haven't really experienced any other liquid lipstick that's this comfortable. And so even if I do have to reapply it after eating, I'm totally okay with that because I could probably wear this for like 24 hours and sleep in it without feeling anything. So I'm pretty sure this is probably the exact same formula as the original one. So if you like that one, you are going to love the shit out of these. Like they're comfortable, they're pigmented as fuck. They're so easy to go on. They'll last on your lips until they hit something foreign. And I don't just mean food. I mean like anything, like they aren't totally transfer proof. Like ready? Mm. See, there is a little bit on there if you can see that. At first, I didn't like the colors, but after seeing them under different light, I fucking love the colors. And I don't even use black lipstick, yet I want to go out and grab her black lipstick, and I have a billion nudes, yet I want hers. There is something about this formula that I find so fucking good, and even though $24 for a liquid lipstick sounds ridiculous, like, I'm totally okay paying it. And I kind of went into this hoping I would like them, but towards the middle, once I saw the colors, I wasn't really liking them, but now I know I really like them. I'm so happy we finally have Fenty products that I actually love. So do I recommend these? I know they are a little bit on the spendy side, but even so, I honestly don't regret buying these. Like, I love them. I totally recommend them. Are these lipsticks products that you absolutely can't live without? No, you can definitely live without them. But if you're someone like me who maybe has sensitive lips and you can always tell when there's something there, then I would say this is a really good investment. Like, take it from someone who has dry ass lips all the fucking time. Literally every liquid lipstick, even after just like an hour, I can feel it on my lips. But these, I can't feel them at all. So if you're someone who wants a lightweight feeling longish lasting liquid lip sync, then totally go for it. I feel like what they say on the website where they're all universal, that might kind of be a load of bullshit. But out of the five shades that they do have, I feel like you could find one that really compliments you. And if you find that shade, grab it the fuck up. But there you go. Like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which just changed from black to white, is available at thepoplex.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available every everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching, I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.